Hey everyone, uh, welcome back, welcome back. Well guys, this is part 17 of um, building the uh, brand new off-grid power building, power shed, power wall, whatever you guys want to call it. Uh, so yeah, we're finally back on the project here. Um, we ended up having to work like kind of half a day on this and then half a day on, on fence line because uh, as you guys know in my last video, I had to chase sheep and I actually ended up chasing them twice today. I got them back over and I figured, you know what, I'll get them back over and I'll fix a little fence line or whatever. And by the time I look back, they're back on that side. So I went back over there, chased them back through. And then we put some rails in and redid our fence and all that to stop them from going over. So that kind of took up a good part of the day. But um, we did get some progress. So let's go over this. So in the last episode of this um, building here, this off-grid shed here... Um, I had these two panels off and we made sure our wall was exactly level, right? Uh, so we got that all accomplished. That is done. Um, so what I decided to do was because I wanted to rewrap it with Tyvek, right? Um, we actually ended up removing all the back wall. So you see how this front wall is here on the back. I removed all those panels, rewrapped all the way around, double checked all my straps to make sure everything was exactly where we need to be, double checked my level to make sure everything where it's supposed to be. Everything's on the money, guys. Everything is exactly where it needs to be. Uh, so after we, you know, removed all the panels, rewrapped it with Tyvek, um, we finally made sure everything was exactly where we're good to go. So we went ahead and finally attached all the panels back on and it's all nailed off right now. There's only a couple spots I need to finish putting some nails in. Um, but other than that, it is all the walls are back on the siding. So that's good news. Uh, so the outside, you know, besides trim is pretty much done. Uh, and then... What I'm going to do is when I get my worker back out here, he's going to help me slide the roof back up on here and we can finally nail the roof. I'm um, not nail, but screw the, the roof back on and we're, you know, ready to go back inside and start working on the inside of this building finally. So walking you guys over here. So yeah, um, in the last part video, you guys seen these two pieces of board here away. It was um, off. We took it off, redid our straps and all that stuff. So we ended up removing all these. Wrap the Tyvek all around so you guys can see we have the leftover that I need to trim. Rewrapped it to make it look nice and uniform again. And then reattached everything. So, yeah, sorry guys, I just got done eating. It's been a long day. But yeah, um, it's all back on here. So really, really good news. Everything is exactly on the money. That's exactly what we wanted. Everything to be right on it, you know. Uh, so the only thing I need to do is repaint these boards. Like the front is okay, but um, the, the boards that were removed... You know, we have the nails and stuff, so we want to make sure we cover all of that, right? So we're going to repaint this side, and then, which is going to be quick, and then repaint all the boards that side, and that's pretty much it. And then all we got to do is just do our trim and stuff, so that's not too big of a deal. So yeah, um, let me take you guys inside here. And the dirt that we threw over here is nice and getting compacted, so it's a lot easier to walk up and walk in now without having to, like, actually leap inside, you know? So, uh, yeah, we use these cross pieces here, these diagonal pieces here to keep everything exactly where we wanted it while we attached all our walls. I mean, they wasn't moving, but we still put it on there just to make sure, you know? We're going through all this work to make sure it's on the money. Um, so now that all the boards are reattached and this thing is solid, um, we can go ahead and remove this board here and remove that board there, get it out of here and we're ready to go. And we can just basically just put the roof back on and then she's going to be dried back in again. And then we can finally reinstall all the insulation that we removed. Uh, so all the insulation is already pre-cut. All we got to do is just push them into the bay, staple them all in. And insulation is going to be quick and easy this time. Uh, and then we can finally get our plywood here and actually start plywooding the, the walls here. Uh, so that's going to be nice to get all that done. So, yeah, definitely making some progress, guys. Uh, it's kind of hard when you got so much projects, you know. I'm just doing what I can, guys. And, you know, the weather's been, you know, iffy here and there. So just got to work around these things sometimes. But, man, am I glad to have this all. I mean, this is double Tyvek, guys. T double <laughs> so this this one right here you've seen is the old one then we have the new one on top that wraps all the way around so yeah it'll be nice and um waterproof and all that especially when we put the trim on we'll make sure we caulk everything and put caulking and all that stuff so it'll be cherry uh and then like i said just the roof anyway guys the sun's dropping and the temperature is dropping really really quick and we're in the sun all day today so 
Anyway, guys, just a really quick update. Things are um, turning around finally. Uh, and actually, tomorrow morning, oh no, sorry, not tomorrow morning, on uh, Monday morning, uh, today is Saturday, um, I'm going to go down and com uh, make sure they add all the um, backer board and all that stuff on my order, uh, so that way I can have them deliver on Wednesday for my house, so I can get the drywall in here and get the um, backer board and all that stuff in here, so that'll be another video for sure, but um, yeah guys, give, give me a thumbs up, everything is exactly where it's supposed to be, we went through a lot of work to make sure, um, so yeah, it does look a lot, to me it looks a lot better you know, that I know for sure that we're on the money, so, yeah, you know, this takes time to make sure it's all right, you know, it's, it's, the, it's the weird thing, I could have left it and just kept going, and then it was just, something small could eat at me over time, guys, you know, and I don't want that, you know, like, the last thing I want to do is, like, five years from now, be like, oh, you know what, we should have made a little adjustment, you know, <laughs> when we were building this, you know, uh, so it's just better to get those things out of the way now, and that way, uh, you're not double looking at things or double checking or, you know, s s telling yourself like, mm, we should have did this, you know, instead of doing that, you know, that kind of stuff. So, but each his own for sure, guys, you know, I'm not saying this is how you should build your stuff. All I'm doing is sharing you, sharing with you guys my experience here on building my own brand new off grid on um, power shed, power wall, power building, whatever you want. Uh, so, you know, here it is, guys. Um, I'm also going to be doing a test with the Tesla batteries. So if you guys are new to my channel, um, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, I live off grid here. My, I'm building a brand new off grid home. It's going to be powered with Tesla batteries and stuff. Um, and this what this is what this shed is for to house all the inverters, charge controllers, batteries, all of that good stuff, right? Um, so what I'm going to do is in a couple videos, I'm going to do a test on the with the Tesla batteries on the outback inverters. And um, I'm going to share that experience with you guys and see how everything re reacts. We're going to put a load assist, uh, load on the system to see how well it works. And then uh, we'll go from there. But I definitely want to make sure everything is copacetic with those batteries before I start having them ship a ton over, you know. So anyway, guys, give me a thumbs up. I am working really hard to push through all these projects. I know a lot of you guys are watching me for this stuff. I know a lot of you guys are watching for the biogas stuff. You know, I'm all spread out everywhere. But bear with me, guys. You know, I'm just sharing my experience here, you know. So anyway, guys, if you guys are not subscribed, subscribe. If you guys have any comments, leave a comment. Um, at least give me the thumbs up, guys. I'm working hard here to keep the wheels moving. Um, you know, it's just how it is, guys. So anyway, guys, thanks for the support. And uh, I'll definitely see you guys on the next one.